So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the tips and tricks and hacks that I have utilized in my balloon business that has been able to help me scale to charge higher prices. I'm going to be going over some things about this balloon garland and what I do in my balloon business because I have looked all over YouTube and a lot of people are showing you how to do balloon garlands, which is great because there wasn't a lot of videos back when I started. However, I'm going to share some tips that you probably won't find anywhere else. So let's talk about this balloon garland in case you want to turn this into an event business. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. So we have the five inch clusters, right? Now on camera, you cannot tell that there is a nipple here but as soon as i bring it close you can i will talk about the nipple because a lot of people tend to ask me about the comment like how do i get rid of that and in actuality the way you get rid of a nipple is to get higher quality balloons so jamar balloons is the balloons that i've used in this video but it is probably the lowest quality in the higher quality balloons does that make sense your top dogs of balloons are going to be like your quality text your tough text your simper text all of the at texas or x's right not your boyfriend or girlfriend but in balloons all the x's <laughs> those are high quality qualitex is probably the number one highest quality balloon that you can get which can also be the most expensive so another tip that you can do in your balloon business is create mock setups and these mock setups can use inexpensive high quality balloons to showcase because like you see here you can't really see the nipple in a picture, right? Unless you're up close, right? So therefore, I'm not saying you deceive your clients, but use your highest quality balloons for your paying clients. And then anything free that you're doing, you could use a lower quality, but it still looks really good for pictures and videos. All right, so let's talk about the next tip. So the next tip we are actually going to be discussing is what is balloon terminology so if I kind of back up this is called a duplet some people call it dupe some people call it a cluster and to be honest I really don't care what you call it <laughs> but just taking two balloons right two balloons that are tied together are called a duplet and as you can see in this clip here all of my clusters that I put together are always have a 12 inch balloon and a 17 inch balloon so every single time i do my balloon designs now i use a dupe and i put two and two together so in this clip right here i'm putting two dupes together to create a quad right because two plus two is four and a quad means four and then i put two more of these dupes together now don't ask me what six is but there'll be six balloons per color so i can now take those clusters of six duplets with three of them so there'll be three clusters so let's say a cluster is three duplets put together right that's a cluster that's what we're going to call it. i don't know if it's proper but you know what i never really took a balloon class so there's my answer for y'all i just watched for youtube just like y'all okay so three clusters can fit into one of my balloon bags and then in order to transport my balloon bags, I can take three to four bags full of those clusters. Okay, so that's a lot of math. But basically I can take, let's say for instance, three, six, nine, or 12. So nine or 12 clusters in my SUV, plus a bag full of five inch balloons. Okay, so I also prepare these usually one or two days before the event. In fact, I will show you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I will show you guys how long these balloons last. They last for weeks. I think one of my designers used similar balloon garland and she said hers lasted almost two months. Okay, now you do see some wear and tear, especially with the five inch balloons but it is worth it. So that's something you could sell to your clients too, right? If you turn this into a business, you can say like, you can have these balloon garlands for weeks after the event and let them put it in their kids' room or on the patio or, you know, wherever life takes you. Okay, so my next tip is really a technique that I've used. I've used this since I went back relaunching into my business. If you haven't watched any of my other videos or if you're brand new, I left my nine to five job watch this video if you want to hear the journey and I wanted to start charging higher prices when I first started I was only charging $150 
um, starting and that is so low in the balloon business. So I use something called color blocking. This technique really sells my designs a lot faster than the sporadic look that I used to do. I think it can go either way, it just depends on the theme. My go-to would be color blocking where you're putting the clusters together that are the same colors. And as you can see right here, we have pink, purple, red. Okay, pink, purple, red, right? The pattern is not really coincise. Like, I kind of messed up along the way, but it still looks good. Sometimes people put it all over and they used to combine. I used to do the same thing, and especially when I first started, I just combining all the colors together. It still looks good, but I think color blocking is what really looks high end, and that's why I'm able to charge higher prices for my clients versus when I first started. I wanted to talk more about the clusters. Now, I forgot to mention this. If you notice, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll have to see this when I'm editing. But this is an ivory, so it kind of has a yellow tint to it. Normally, I'd go for white, but they didn't have it. But these two 60s, I, you really don't have to color match them. Um, the only time I do color match is when I have like really dark colors. So if it's like a black with maybe accents of white, or if it's like dark colors, like dark blue, deep red, black, whatever, then yes, I would suggest to get something darker. Um, it doesn't have to be black, but just a darker color for the 260 balloons. But normally, like, you can't see, you can't see this, this color. And then the higher quality you go with the balloons, the more you won't see them at all. Some people tie their f five inch balloons to their garlands. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> I tried it it's a no the one thing I will say is that too when it comes to your balloon garlands you want to make sure that the necks of the balloons do not show okay so do not show the necks try and cluster them in if you have two maybe twos is not for you I don't really do it on purpose but if you look here you can't see the necks so when it's on the garland right if this tends to show on the out oh, Okay, if the 260 balloons, let's say for instance it was this way, it's really not though. Let's say for instance you can see that. I just tuck it in once it's on the garland. So use your discretion. But that's just a fun tip that nobody really tends to share. But again, go check out this five cluster balloon garland I made a few years ago. Um, but that's just to kind of like give you an update on that video. Because there are certain things I didn't go over that I make sure that is not in my garlands. Again, all of these tips are to help you sell your garlands better, especially if you want to turn it into a, a business. And even if you don't turn it into a business and you want to just build one in your house, you know, just make it look pretty. Put some effort into it. Why not? So fun fact, I'm, I've used three foot balloons before, but I tend not to. But in my business, it's an upsell, so it's not something that is like a within my selling point it's something like if someone sends me a picture and it has those big three foot balloon garlands those balloons not garlands those three foot balloons then i usually increase my price because those balloons obviously cost more and you get less so just be mindful of that i tend to stick with three sizes three colors all right you made it to the end thank you so much for not only watching the video all the way through, but sticking to the end with me. <laughs> if you need help and you wanna turn your beautiful creative talents into a real event business, feel free to download my secret guide to getting dream clients. It's the one, not one, there's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps that go into it of what you should be doing in order to book those dream clients. And as long as you follow that guide verbatim, verse step, you should be able to book your dream client. And if not, I might have a program for you. <laughs> Before you click out, write me a comment. How much would you charge for this garland? And then try and comment this video first, and then go check out my next video on how much I would charge. So thank you so much for staying tuned with me here to the end. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope you continue designing your dreams to reality. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Alright, let's get started.